so, and this is Team Green here coming into it. We got the uh, Team Green here on oh, PS2. PS2. So much green. Yeah, dude, chroma keys coming in clutch here. You can put your, I don't know, your cat memes over the set if you want. All right, let's, let's get it. For all you green haters, this is not the set for you. No, it's not at all. However, er, er, we see right, Miles again and starting to play very differently. Jen as well. Oh, not trying to find any of the same openers we saw C go for before. Gonna find a juggle for just a second, but Miles' is a defensive adjustments. He, both these players, it feels like we're watching, in, you know, I, I couldn't tell you Miles played a, a Palu last set based on the way he's playing right now. Yeah. Like, it's so different. Yeah, no, he is... Jen, well, Jen's a different player. Yes. So, as we said before in the beginning set, he plays C all the time. So, there was so many Yomi levels. Like, he knows all of C's habits. He's like, okay, you like to jump here. He doesn't play Jen that often because he's not a training partner with him. But they do play enough times where it's like, okay, I need to do this style versus you. I can't play the exact same way. And with that jump already out, great explosive flame to checkmate Miles there off stage. Sour Spot Fair might do it. You're gonna, the egg gonna force an early teleport. Jen trying to drift back at the last set and, and it's gonna cost him his stock. Yeah, and Jen is good at the Yoshi matchup. Has beaten Suarez, has beaten Raptor, and has beaten Miles often. All three top Yoshis in New York. And, and just out there in general. Yeah. Oh, right now, oh, I love the use of these auto radicals just defensively, slowing Miles down, disrupting his pace of play, a eh? causing him to be a little unsure, and Jen's gonna take advantage of that, right? Racking up all this percent, getting a little over aggressive, and both these players are scrapping here in the corner. Oh! That was I am cool. loving that mix up right there. That was so clean. Miles forward air mix ups all day have just been absolutely gorgeous. And the double jump armor again, allowing him to just not die to that down throw back air. Yeah, I know. It, it does burn it. So, but you would rather that than like just die yeah. in that situation. It's like, it's like, oh no, I burned my double jump back air, but I'm not dead to this kill confirm that yeah. kills everyone else in the game. Speaking of though, Miles trying to hold on to his stock, find some extra credit here, build a little bit of a lead to bring with him, but that might be all she wrote. That Nair gonna put him in a juggle situation, and Jen catching the air dodge, great choice there from him for that up air. Yeah, and no, him out. He's been doing such a good job, and now look at him back with the lead. But the big thing with my is, is he's been closing out these stocks first. Yes, he has been, but yeah, that was the biggest juggle we've seen from Jen so far by a long shot. And now a corner situation, but Miles with some great routing to get his way back just for a second and a juggle of his own. Again, Yoshi's moves to deal so much damage, not gonna close it out, but Jen's gotta be a little scared right now. Oh no, he is definitely kind of afraid. And the flutter, the fair, it's just Miles applying all the pressure to Jen right now. He's just looking for a single hit. The down throw, gonna have the back air. That time, the double jump armor doesn't come out in time. And this is Jen's opportunity, but Miles still finds it back. Oh, and that's a horrible roll. Can he make it past this ledge trap? No, he cannot. I love the at least the attempt to mix up with neutral get up there. He yeah. hadn't really done it. But one of the things, like, everyone's like, oh, you save this one option, you don't do it all game. And then you pull it out when you need it as your haha, I might get out of jail free card. Yeah. But your opponent, if they're keeping track of what your options are, which a lot of good players are, they'll say, oh, you you haven't used this one option all game. When you're down and your back's against the wall, you might, you know, you're probably going to do it. Jen calling it out there, taking it. And as a result, Miles betraying Team Green. Yeah, no, betraying Team Green and going to the blue Yoshi, same color as like Yoshi Dora. And Suarez, so guess he's team blue. Yeah, I mean, right, the Boshi coming in here, clutch, uh, finding his way back to stage, but we're not seeing these fast openings like we saw against C, and that's really been the biggest different uh, difference so far is that instead of those early leads, Miles been forced to play from behind, push those buttons first, and Jen's been so good at just catching his preemptive options. Yeah, no, Jen's really good at people that like hold forward, like leanestly, and like people counter hitting people. Yep, and I love the attempt there, but unfortunately the slight charge 
Jen gonna just play it patient, get back for free, make that mid whiff. That's being whiff, getting a whiff grab, but still finding the nair, maintaining this advantage state at least for a moment. But the reset, and it's just gonna be Miles getting a little over aggressive. Okay, yeah, and catching Miles landing with an explosive flame. Jen taking the first stock and starting off strong. Game two. It's yeah. gonna be really tough for him to catch up. I, I think he absolutely can if he can close this out. I think right the biggest thing is you just can't let Jen build this lead, get this extra credit, and the kill confirm gonna come in, do just that, and allow Miles an opportunity to bring this game back to even if he can get back to stage. Yeah. All right. Can Miles tack on some more percent? But no, now is he's in disadvantage. Oh, almost got spiked off stage. Yep, and the air dodge coming out. Miles had to use every option, getting called out by the rare up smash from Jen. You don't see it too often, but it's so good in this matchup, covering so much vertical space that Yoshi likes to operate in. And we're really seeing Jen be so good in the air that it's forcing Miles to try and play grounded with a character that really thrives on their aerial game. Yeah, no. Oh, okay, almost got the fair off. From, and yeah, this is best of five, I believe. If I'm Correct. So, Miles can't be frustrated right now. Like, you see him shaking his head in the player cam. Yeah. He needs to stay composed. It's like, okay, I could be able to make this reverse trio. Are we able to win this game? Because you only have 54% on you, Miles. Right, and both these characters are able to deal big damage, so it's not out of the question. All he needs is one neutral win, only hitting half of Dare, and it's still did 15. Ian, so he's starting to find an option, getting back down now with. Gen on platform, this could be an opportunity, but just instead the neutral reset, not too much from either player as they look for these pivotal hits. All right, caught him with the nair. I like when Jen does that, catches the reset, knows you can't get another extension there, so it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna see where you're trying to drift, and I'm gonna catch you right there. And down tilt, no jump. That down tilt mix up was so incredibly clean, saving the double jump there for the last second, trying to call out with, with a fair, but Jen noticing Miles having that habit across both this set and his set with C. So able to use that up tilt, which also you bend back, you shift your hurt box way lower, to meaning that what Miles expects to be Paolo's head is instead gonna be a disjoint. Yeah, it, and that's so tough if you're Miles. Because there's both like two instances where he was bringing it back, and then like when Jen just clutched it up. So. By Miles is like, it's gonna. It's really hard to get out of that headspace. Like, is my best not good enough at this moment? And speaking of the best, he's got some drip on right now. Yeah, that pink, pink skin. I'm digging it. Uh, I like pink. Every Wednesday. And I think he seems also like being finally. I think this might be his first lead of the set. The yeah. way he things have been going so far for him right now. Well, it just maybe. I think he did have a game, lead game one, yep. but not entirely sure. But he is starting off hot, and he did start off a bit cold both of those sets. Yep, and that is the momentum difference. I think he's he managed to take a breath between those sets, and sometimes that you just need to take a second to recollect yourself when you're starting to feel yourself get shaken and finding his way back to stage Ooh. using that double jump from where the up smash not going to close it out, Reggie, but it feels like Miles is the one putting on all the pressure. Yeah, and I like that when he did that up smash, he's catching a lot of Jen's dash ins. It's like, okay, you're overextending and you're getting a bit too confident right now, and you need to be punished for it. Now Jen's starting to back off, trying to take his time. You've seen a lot more auto radicals and back, just fade that back airs. It's like, okay, I need to catch Miles doing something kind of silly. And, man. Uh, Yoshi's floating us there, right? That up smash gonna come out. It's a stock trade at the end of the day. But if you're Miles and you've just built that whole lead only to just have the game be even and now you're getting juggled, it's really hard to keep your mental composure the way those yeah. first two games went. It, you gotta find a way. Yeah. If I'm Jen, I just gotta, you gotta keep thinking you're the shit right now. Yep, you hold, you hold forward, heard, heard, and then as soon as Miles starts to, Jen, Jen kind of starts fading back, just catching his approaches. We're finally starting to see Miles mix in some of these egg lays, is, but Jen's mixing up his mashing, so Miles hasn't been able to convert too much out of it. Yeah, I know, it's been really tough. If you're able to mix up your mashing and just mix up the options you do outside of egg lay, 
it becomes really hard for the Yoshi to actually get a decent punish. Yep, calling out that le that teleport can cancel there on ledge with an up air, but not able to find too much, getting a little over antsy and losing a stock for it. And suddenly, Jen with a lead, with an opportunity to maintain and build so much extra credit, closes out with a 3-0, and Miles just trying to put himself on the board with a game. Yeah. And it's such a reverse, like, parallel, because you see Miles, like, kind of playing a lot more desperate and just looking for, like, every other opening, and Jen is just sticking to the game plan that he's, he's been seeing tried and true. And this is the power, right, of having the lead in ultimate. Miles forced to approach here, allowing Jen to just slow the pace of the game down with these auto reticles. Miles mix up Miles' pace of play and just yeah. find over and over, make him uncomfortable and just, I mean, that's the second time he's caught an explosive flame to close it out. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, no, beautiful stuff. I'm liking it. So Jen in grand finals, winner's side. Let's see who's going to make it to him.